People's National Party is currently grappling to deal with a new development. It's the sudden resignation of former Member of Parliament Victor Wright. Officers of the PNP were scheduled to meet to select the new chairperson to head up the team in Northern Trelawney and Region 1 as interim chairperson. The leadership of the People's National Party met to select the interim chairman for the party's Region 1 and Trelawney Northern constituency. This follows the sudden resignation of Victor Wright. Victor Wright resigned and they were currently taking steps to deal with both the regional and constituency matters. There was a meeting on Thursday during which they first dealt with the region and then the constituency. This is what PNP General Secretary Dr. Dayton Campbell has mentioned. Wright, a one-time parliamentarian, was defeated in the September 3rd general elections by the Jamaica Labour Party's Tova Hamilton by approximately 1,800 votes. He also occupied the post of chairperson for Region 1 for the PNP, which covers the parishes of Senan and Trelawney. Up to the end of November 30, when he relinquished both of his positions. On Tuesday, the party's general secretary extended his gratitude to Wright for his service to the PNP and wished him all the best in his future endeavors. Several attempts to make contact with Mr. Wright to provide an explanation on his decisions proved to be futile. Hamilton's victory in the September 3rd parliamentary elections ended the People's National Party's 31-year reign in that constituency in Northern Trelawney. The PNP has been in control of that seat since 1989, when Desmond Leckie, the party's candidate at the time, defeated the JLP's Keith Russell. Leading up to the most recent general elections, Victor Wright lost two key party workers who were disenchanted with the stewardship of the constituency and went on to join the Jamaica Labour Party. The former member of parliament was also involved in a dispute with the Sugar Company of Jamaica Holdings before the September 3rd polls. The Sugar Company of Jamaica has had an issue with Wright. They say that he owes them $3.6 million in rent and for electricity. But the parliamentarian was adamant that he had paid his bills. Ahead of the 2016 general elections, the Trelawney native was campaign manager for the PNP's J.P. White, whose candidacy for the seat had been withdrawn after he was also in receipt of a demand notice from the Tax Administration of Jamaica for $17 million in taxes, which it said was owed to them by White's civil engineering company Equilibrio Jamaica Limited. Wright was subsequently announced as the candidate to replace White by Portia Simpson Miller. He went on to defeat the Jamaica Labour Party's Dennis Meadows by a margin of just over 400 votes. PNP Vice Chairman of the Constituency in Charge of Elections, Colin Powell, who disclosed that Wright wants to move on and develop his personal business acumen, described the former Member of Parliament as the most outstanding parliamentarian in the parish. And he says that the parish has been blessed to have Victor Wright since they lost Desmond Lecky. He further stated that Victor was the best member of parliament they have ever had in the constituency. But there were many persons who did not feel the same way. Many thought that Victor was a good man. They said that he always told the truth. He was never one to joke about the truth. It is just that some people did not like what he did or whatever he said. There were some people who didn't give him the support that he needed. But to me, Victor was the best member of parliament ever to come to North Trelawney. I don't see anyone else and I have worked with all of them as constituency secretary. I am not the constituency secretary now, but I have worked with all of them since Desmond Leckie. This is the statement coming from the veteran Trelawney Northern politician. It was further stated that Victor was a man with a vision. Victor knows exactly what he wants for his constituency. He stifled the Jamaica Labour Party government. And one of his biggest downfalls was the Wakefield Main Road.
Wright lamented that his representation to the Andrew Holness led administration for the rehabilitation of the Falmouth Springvale Road, which passes through Wakefield, fell on deaf ears. At the time, he listed educational programs, sponsorship of agricultural, sporting, and other social activities and road repairs among his major achievements during his four year stewardship of the Trelawney Northern constituency. One of the most significant ones that he is proud of is his contribution that he made to the education of youths and also to adults in the constituency. This is manifested by innovative programs such as their adult reading program where they taught adults to read in the privacy of their homes. Of course, they also had their CSEC classes where they paid for four more subjects for those who wanted to take those subjects. And he said that he was happy to say that his class oversubscribed. Children are also able to do their exams, and this is the second year that this has been operational. We also have a skills training program to train the students in 10 skill sets. He further added that the programs were ongoing and that they were being funded significantly by the Constituency Development Fund, 30 to 35 percent of which he said he had dedicated towards those programs each year. Now, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Let me know what you think about the resignation of Victor Wright from Trelawney Northern and the PNP's Region 1 as chairperson. What could have steered this sudden move? I wonder who made a call or who made a statement to Victor Wright because it seems like he was always on the right track, having lost a weather to JLP Tover Hamilton. He could still bounce back and continue to do his good work in the constituency of Trelawney Northern. Now, let us know what you think about these issues and any other issues that you may find that you need to express yourself about. Now, thanks for watching. Goodbye and be safe.